Hi. Norway has become the first country in the world where the sale of electric cars has overtaken the sale of petrol, diesel and hybrid engines last year with German car maker Volkswagen replacing Tesla as the top vehicle battery producer. Let us look how Norway has transferred its transportation system in this video. But before that, if you are watching my channel for the first time, I request you to kindly share and subscribe to my channel. Norway further cemented its position as a world leader in renewable technologies last year as battery electric vehicles made more than 50% of all sales made last year. Now let us look at some of the graphs on Norway's car sales. Last year, the market share of BEVs rose to 54%, uh, up from 42% in 2019 as per data released by the Norwegian Road Foundation. Now, if you look at the data, only a decade ago, BEVs made up just 1% of the overall market. If hybrid vehicles are included, the share of electric vehicles in 2020 is 83%. Petrol and diesel cars, which commanded a 71% market share in 2015, are now at merely 17%. Now, also last year, Germany's Volkswagen replaced US-based Tesla as the largest electric vehicle producer in the country. Registration of light-duty EVs in Norway last year was 113,500 vehicles and in 2019 it was approximately 88,000 vehicles. The data now here shows figures from 2004 to 2020 and you can see the exponential growth in electric vehicles. While the sale of BEVs had broken the 50% mark in individual months, 2020 was the first time that fully electric cars outsold the combined volume of models containing internal combustion engines for a year. In fact, the sales boosted in the last quarter of 2020, hitting their highest level for any single month in December with a 66.7% share of the car market. Now, Norway is the biggest producer of crude oil in Western Europe. But very recently, they have shifted their focus from fossil fuels to renewable energy. It has become a pioneer in electric mobility and thanks to its prudent and extremely favorable physical policy. It began the electric push in the 1990s in an effort to cut pollution, congestion and noise in urban centers. In the year 2017, a non-binding goal was set by the Parliament of Norway where it has said that all vehicles sold will be of zero emissions by the year 2025. UK and Germany intends to do it by 2030 and France intends to do by 2040. In India, the government has set a target of 30% of its vehicle becoming EV by the year 2030. Now, as this ambitious goal has been set, Norway intends to become the first country in the world by 2025 to have all EVs and as such, all taxes are exempt for EV vehicles and heavy taxes are put on fossil fuel cars and as such, it becomes more competitive and cheaper to buy as compared to other internal combustion engine models. In fact, Norway taxes IC engines more heavily than other European countries. The policy has turned the country's car market into a laboratory for car makers seeking a path to a future without internal combustion engines. Parking lots are also free of charge for EVs and new charging stations are continuously being built on the nation's highways a mix of regular charging stations and fast chargers. As of now, Norway has 10,000 publicly available charging points. Now, 
Now, Norway has over 100,000 EV vehicles for a population of 5 million, all electric battery operated cars. And the most important thing is that Norway does not manufacture any of the cars. All the cars are imported from everywhere in the world. The country's policies have also encouraged car makers to use Norway as a testing ground. As per the CNN report, Volkswagen's luxury brand Audi was the market leader in 2020, selling 9,227 units of its e-tron model, followed by Tesla's Model 3, which sold 7,770 units. Now, experts, however, feel that the model that is being done by Norway cannot be replicated. It is very difficult to get replicated because Norway gives abundant subsidies and this is due to the fact it has revenue from oil and gas production. Due to its hydrocarbon wealth, Norway is able to build up the world's larger sovereign wealth fund which is about 1.3 trillion US dollars. Norway has long been hailed as a leader in the race to adopt electric cars as it gives a lot of incentives and benefits. The sales of electric cars are going to skyrocket in the year 2021 as per various industry analysts and car distributors as more and more models are going to come in the year 2021. Tesla's mid-size utility vehicle, the Model Y, is due to reach the Norwegian market this year as are the first SUVs from Ford, BMW and Volkswagen. Not only this, Mercedes-Benz, Kia, Opel, Citroen and other brands have also said that 70% of its car sales are going to be EVs in the year 2021. Globally too, there could be electric car breakthrough as the battery technology gets less expensive year on year. The cost of a lithium-ion battery pack for an electric car fell 87% from 2010 to 2019, according to research by Bloomberg. The average cost was US$1,160 in 2010, and as of 2019, it was US$156, and it is predicted to be less than USD by year 2024. Falling battery prices makes electric cars less expensive and more competitive and with even slightly higher taxes still the evs will be much cheaper than the fossil driven cars as per norway's preliminary forecast it is expected that they are going to sell nearly 65 percent of the market with evs in the year 2021 and if they are able to manage this then their ambition and goal of having zero emission cars by 2025 can be reached. Hope this information has been useful. Thank you for watching. See you soon.